yeah, I enjoy making videos. You're gonna have many days where it's like, well, this is interesting. And that ultimately led to my YouTube channel failing. One of my childhood friends showed me these videos online that went viral. YouTube? Wow, okay, this is great. Niga Higa with his how to be videos. Smosh with Cat Soup. The Harry Potter Puppet Pals. Those were the first of many I watched growing up. And let me tell you, we didn't have cable back then. So either I watched Caillou on PBS Kids, or I watched these normal looking people making crazy and entertaining videos online. Fast forward a few years, I posted my first few videos on YouTube using the YouTube video editor, because why not? I have nothing else to do. I messed around with the sample clips and audio tracks that the editing tool had, and boom. It's not much, but man, when I was editing that, it was really cool to post a work of mine that people from all over the world can watch. Then we got my coming of age arc here where my life was all about like friends, girls, school, insecurities, typical teenager things. Making YouTube videos wasn't really on my mind, not until like senior year of college. So like 2019, 2020, where half of it was during the pandemic. Yes, I was one of those people that had a virtual graduation, just a list of names scrolling through the screen my mom was like hey it's you i'm just like ah it's just a name on a screen there's nothing to see anywho senior year i lived in an apartment complex with my friends and we went through a lot of pet peeves and awesome moments and you know the crazy idea the crazy idea i had was what if we documented this in a mockumentary web series format because why not senior year bucket list and the rest is history with many videos since then. My YouTube journey is definitely an interesting one. The pandemic, while it was horrible for many people, gave me a lot of free time to actually work on making a lot of videos. Every week I grinded putting out a new video each week throughout the summer. Think of the idea, write the script, film, edit, upload, rinse, repeat. And I'm glad I had something to occupy myself with. And it was fun. I was gaining traction, views, subs, love for my audience, all that pizzazz. Then I got a job and other things started happening in my life where I decided to take a break from YouTube. And from that point on, I would upload sporadically, but ultimately there were many days where I just didn't feel like recording. And eventually I lost interest in YouTube. When it came back to YouTube again, it was nearly a year since my last video. And I think anyone in the 20s knew you gotta live life, explore the world. My interests changed and my direction changed with this channel. I experimented a lot. The inconsistency with the uploads and the niches definitely affected my channel negatively in some way. I'm pretty sure most of the subs that I have now don't even watch my YouTube videos. I'm making videos all over the place. And honestly, maybe it sucks. I don't know. It is what it is. Sometimes it's good to be doubtful and question your content sometimes. I said this in one of my older videos, being content and being complacent are not the same. Content is like, yeah, I'm okay with where I'm at, but I'm willing to upgrade and improve myself. While complacent is like, I'm okay, and that's that. So I'm of the content side, content, like content making, you know, content, content, they're the same spelling. Okay, I don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah. Just about a week ago, I was walking by the boardwalk and I was talking to this person who was doing photography. Cause you know, we creatives, we got our own thing and all. You know how it is. Um, anywho, I brought up my YouTube stuff and how I was conflicted with the direction that I wanted to take it. Yeah, I enjoy making videos and I love the editing process and being able to upload it for the whole world to see. But how can I entertain my audience? How can I market my content so that people will want to click it? People will want to stay and watch it. People will want to like and share it with their friends. You know, why watch me over someone else? Why me? And honestly, I don't know. And that maybe it's a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. I'm still figuring it out, I'm still finding myself. And maybe that in it itself can be a good thing. Maybe I would want to watch the journey of my channel develop over time. All the videos I made so far are memories of my life, a catalog that I can look back on and cringe and see how I've changed and gotten better over time. I put this video out for myself and for other fellow small YouTubers to show that, yeah, growing a YouTube channel is fucking hard. 
it is really fucking hard. And ultimately, you're gonna have many days where it's like, well, this is interesting. I'm not sure what to do anymore. You try different things and your views and subs aren't growing. Nothing is working. You're unmotivated, you get writer's block, you get busy with life, balancing your nine to five job, spending time with your significant other, family, friends, and it feels like there's too much going on and it feels hopeless and you wanna give up. That's exactly how I felt. And that ultimately led to my YouTube channel failing. I just felt burnt out and what seemed like an attainable goal of making it was getting further and further away from me. I questioned myself many days and nights. Am I doing this the right way? Am I just wasting time? And to be honest, quite frankly, YouTube is a long winded process. If you really want to be successful, whatever your idea of success is, you got to work for it. If you really want it, you got to put in the time and hours and dedicate yourself to this and grow day by day. You start from day one, pick up a camera and start filming, make a ton of videos, learn new skills and improve on every next video that you make as you go. You're gonna wanna give up very often, 100%. I don't wanna do this anymore. I wanna continue pushing with more content. Believe me, stick through it and you'll see it through. As a content creator, evaluate your values. What do I value in my YouTube channel? I do wanna get a million views and earn a lot of money, but I wouldn't be happy if I made videos I hated or felt like it was another boring nine to five job. I would rather continue making videos I love. And if I earn the opportunity to make money out of it, hey, perfect. It's okay to have doubts sometimes, but confidence is key. Keep your chin up and celebrate those videos that you put out. Even if it may not have as many views as you would like, if you love what you do, it will be much easier to grow because it will feel more fun and less like work. You smart. You very smart. We the best. You a genius. I appreciate you. To be real with my fellow content creators, while it's good to be optimistic and keep grinding to make it, the reality is not everyone is gonna achieve that same level of success. Some may get it early, some may get it later, some may never get it, but success is subjective. What does success mean to you as a creator? It will be different for everyone. What does success mean to me? Did I really fail on my YouTube channel when it's only been a month into the new year? I need to define who I am and what I value. I need to carry my goals with optimism, but also with a spoon of reality. Get it, spoon of... Eh? Eh? Okay. Okay, that was stupid. <laughs> that was a long ass discussion, talking to you guys, talking to this camera. I'm not quitting YouTube anytime soon, so don't worry guys. Hope I made some sense. Catch you guys later. Bye.